This is Trey Waynes, and this is the press technique. So basically in the press technique, the first thing you want to look at is where your receiver's at. And if he's inside the numbers, then you want to be slightly outside. If he's outside the numbers, then you want to be slightly inside of the receiver. Uh, your inside foot uh, should be you know, right outside of his inside foot. Um, you know, I, I played it two different ways, and I'm going to go over both those ways. And you know, whichever one's comfortable for you, that's you know, what you can work on. Uh, the first way I learned to play it is the shadow technique, and that's basically having a slightly staggered stance. And for the staggered technique, um, eyes inside, eyes on, uh, eyes on the receiver's hips, because that's what you key as a DB. And at the snap of the ball, you want to scooch out. And basically what that does is that moves the line of scrimmage, so when the receiver comes out off his, off his, uh, off his stance and does all that movement, you're basically moving the line of scrimmage back so that all that head shaking movement is ineffective. So you want to have a slightly staggered stance, inside foot's always up, good knee bend, eyes on his hips, ball snapped, you want to scooch back a little bit, and then when he makes his break, if he goes inside or outside, you want to kick slide. You want to kick slide, so if he goes outside, you want to kick slide your feet, throwing that offhand jam, and if he goes inside, kick slide, throwing that offhand jam. Uh, for, the other, for the other technique, is a more square stance, well, actually, back to, back to the shadow stance. When you go, you don't want a false step. And a false step is stepping forward to go backwards. And that's basically taking movement away from you and uh, allowing the receiver to catch up to you quicker. For the next technique, though, you can false step. So for some people, it's easier to false step. For some people, it's easier to just go straight back. So for this technique, it's more square. Same distance from the receiver, same alignment, inside, outside, slightly inside and you still want to watch his hips. So at first movement of the receiver, you fall step, come back, and then it's kick slide from either, either side. I personally, I like, I like doing the fall step just because that's a more natural, that's a more natural feel. Um, you know, it's kind of just, it's more natural and you know, I just end up doing it. So receiver, good stance, slight, slightly, I mean, you can have, you have your front foot slightly inside or up depending on how you feel comfortable. So at the snap of the ball, fall step, back, back, and then go. You know, like I said, this is Trey Wayne's, that's the back pedal. There's two different techniques for you to do. Um, you know, whichever one works for you the best, you know, run with it and go.